Hello, hello, hello to all my uniques out there. This is your girl, Akudo. Welcome to your unique business. For today, we are going to feature an African business. Before I go any further, I would like to introduce the brain behind the business. Welcome, Professor Paul Okechuku Oranika. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Prof, yes. before we move any further, tell me about your business. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to start by saying I'm glad to be here. This is an honor to um, you know, make an appearance in uh, you know, this um, occasion. Well, we do run Africa Business World. Okay. And um, it's literally a publication where we try to, you know, publish news affecting us as a people, okay. Igbos first, then mm -hmm. the whole Nigeria okay. uh, second. So basically what we do is um, we publish news articles. Okay. We also do editorials and these things are always supported with pictures okay, and, um, and facts. Yes, mm -hmm. and everything we publish are always uh, fact-checked and okay. uh, we'll make sure we're doing the right thing. Okay, before we go any further, I'm yes. going to deep right in. Yes. Tell me, did you just wake up and start writing articles? Where did this passion come from? Yes, that's a very good question. Um, in the past, I've done a lot of work, particularly for other, you know, uh, media, media organizations, okay. and mm -hmm. um, but one that I did that inspired me to come go deeper into this uh, business was the, the work I did for a hedge fund company in Florida. Okay. They hired me to do articles and analysis uh, pertaining to the global hedge fund industry. Okay. That's where I started. So I was doing it as on, on a part-time basis they, they, when yeah. I was teaching, um, okay. doing my main work, which was uh, teaching at Grand Canyon University okay. in Arizona. Okay, so you started writing. Yes. And when you started writing, how did the company you were working for, how did right. they, was it positive, was it negative? Yes, it, it was very positive. What I did was I take news, breaking news articles, okay. and write it, in, in, in to reflect okay. the vision of the company that I was working oh, for. Okay. Okay. So the, everything started well and it was going well and okay. I you know did a lot of um, articles. Um, sometimes they, they give me the um, subtitles. Okay and then you, you just research and, and then write. Yes. Okay. So in this your African business world, mm -hmm. articles, is it all African countries or just Specifically for Nigeria yes. or what? We started out with uh, focusing on Africa. Okay. We are still going to get to that point. Okay. But for now, the, the items we write are specifically uh, Igbo related okay. and Nigeria in general. Okay. Yes. So it is safe for somebody to say that they fear because there is this notion out there that if Igbos don't take care, our language is going to be extinct. Absolutely. Because yes. nobody wants to speak the language. Because yes. for me, when I go home mm -hmm. and my children hear our Igbo language, mm -hmm. people are always saying, how did you teach them that? Because yes. people in Nigeria, Igbo people don't speak the language. What's your take on that? You're absolutely correct. You know, um, uh, but let me step back and talk about the Igbo language is so important to us as, mm -hmm. as Igbos that yeah. we have to figure out a way to um, save that language. The reason I say that is even as a publisher, mm -hmm. we you know, have um, Igbo translating software okay. in our company. That one was developed by Google. Okay. So anybody can go to that website and hit all the news idol, uh, items there mm -hmm. and translate them. Oh, and it will be translated yes, in Igbo? Wow, that yes. is nice. Yes, so okay. so that's um, one one thing we have done. But it, it, it's always important that people, you know, will reflect on who they are. Mm -hmm. And before you can do anything, you have to first of all admit 
who you are. Mm -hmm. We are Igbos and um, everything we, our world vision, we have to reflect it from that perspective. From that perspective, yes. yeah. And one thing I know about Igbos, because I'm one, yes. we are very proud people. Yes, we are. We like to tell you who we are. Mm -hmm. We are proud of our heritage. We are yes. proud of our culture. We are proud of our language. Yes. But most people, some Igbos too, especially those in diaspora, mm -hmm. when they come out here, we, we want to socialize so much with the culture out here mm -hmm. that we tend to forget our own culture. Yes. What that, that say is, something about that? That is correct. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I don't know, sometimes I tend to look at our people and, and ask this question, what is wrong with us, <laughs> you know, because you, any, anywhere you see a collection of Yorubas, that's right. Proud people. They Very speak proud. their language. And all their children their speak children that language. Do. The mm -hmm. same thing with other, other Nigerian yeah. tribes, mm -hmm. like the houses. Houses too. But mm -hmm. anywhere you see a collection of Igbos, you know, grandma is always, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't know why we always go that way. I don't line. know. I but don't know. But it is something that... Um, uh, you know, we have to correct mm -hmm. and then figure out how we can, because those are the things that are contributing to the, you know, Igbo language dilemma. Yes. Because nobody uses it. Nobody anymore. wants to speak it, yes. that's right. You know, it's okay that when you're doing English programs like this, this program, yeah, yeah, you, we yeah. are aiming for well, everybody. A wider population. Okay? Yeah. So it's only natural that mm -hmm. we do it in English. In English. But mm -hmm. there are occasions, I, I'll give you one example, I don't want to uh, speak too much. No, that's this. okay. Uh -huh. Yes. You go to Igbo events. Mm -hmm. All the Igbo events in diaspora, you know, surprisingly, <laughs> everybody <laughs> there is Igbo. But the only language you hear there is English. <laughs> you know, so that's uh, just one good example yeah. to substantiate the point. That's right. Because I remember when I came to America newly, mm -hmm. you know, I, I was in this meeting where people were scared that if they teach their children Igbo, mm -hmm. their children will have an accent. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to explain to them that yeah. it has been proven that children can speak six different languages yeah. without mixing the accents. Absolutely. Especially when you start young. It doesn't yes. mean, I've seen children that speak German language, yes. they speak English, they speak Igbo, and mm -hmm. they speak Yoruba. Yes. And when they are speaking each, is different. Yes. But you know, ignorance and not knowing, mm -hmm. we always think, oh, if my children speak Igbo, then they won't speak the American slang or the American, you know, I don't know. Yes, that that's that's a very false assumption. That is an, it's that a false make. assumption. Because like you said, you can teach any child any language mm -hmm. when they are young. Mm -hmm. They will be able to speak it and speak it well. Exactly. You know, so the number of languages a child speaks mm -hmm. has nothing to do with uh, their ability to communicate. Mm -hmm. And even if they come to accent, it's okay to have an accent. Of course. As long as we can hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Because if an American comes to Nigeria, right. an American will have an accent oh, in yes. Nigeria. Yes. Because that's not the... Just, it's okay. It's okay. Just be yourself. It's okay. Because if... If you put out negativity, mm -hmm. people will give you back negativity. That's if you are not proud of who you are and your culture, then people will not want to be associated with your culture. That's correct. We Dr. Oronika, Oronika yes. can you please give me an idea of what African business is doing mm -hmm. to preserve our culture? I hear there's okay. an event coming up. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for raising that point. Um, what we started doing is uh, we've introduced what we call Igbo Cultural Heritage Festival. Wow. We started doing it, uh, we did the first one in Maryland okay. uh, a few years back. Then the second one, we did it in Los Angeles, okay. which was um, organized by, um, uh, what's our, our think about the name, okay. just escaped my mind. Okay. But it's uh, something that uh, we have expanded okay. into the next level. The next level now is trying to bring our children closer to the Igbo language. Very important. Mm -hmm. So we started this new program, which um, is about Igbo language 
and, and culture, how do you present it to the young generation of Igbos born outside Nigeria? Okay. So what we, we, we thought we have a good chance of doing is to start a pageant. Wow. Yes. Like an Igbo, an like Igbo fashion pageant. Oh, yes. okay. And okay. the uh, actual name, the translation is Miss Igbo Universe. Mm. Then we call it Why Monary Bear. Ooh, that is know. nice. Yes. I should be contested in yeah, that one. Sure, sure, you know. <laughs> and it's open to all anybody that is Igbo, and they have to be 18 years uh, of age. Okay. And the first one is coming up here in mm -hmm. Atlanta here. Wow. In October 26, okay. at the uh, Holiday Inn and Express here at the airport. Atlanta Please, airport. I hope you guys are listening. If you have a daughter. Yes. who is 18 and above mm -hmm. and she wants to be part of this pageant please why am I Kasi Bea, right? why am I yes. Yes. the most beautiful evil woman please they are doing it at the Holiday Inn yes. downtown yes. all the information no, will airport. be at the airport. airport all the information will be at the bottom yes. in case you are interested okay yes and what else are you guys doing well um next year we will also be doing the Igbo Cultural Heritage Festival. Okay. Right now, I'm in consultation with uh, our Igbo brothers and sisters in South Africa. Wow. So it's possible, it hasn't been confirmed, confirmed. but it's possible that the next edition of that festival might be in South Africa. Might be in South Africa. Wow. But we will confirm it when, you know, the, when group, the time okay. Yes, when the time comes. Okay. Yes. So apart from the pageant, what else are you guys doing for this? Uh, event in October. Yes, we've been preparing. There will be a, a large um, exhibition of Igbo language mm -hmm. and, and culture. And culture. Um, the children, the, the people taking part in the uh, pageant would be expected to answer some questions <laughs> in Igbo. Okay. Okay. In Igbo language? In Igbo, right? Oh my God! Like, uh, it, okay, the point is you want everybody to understand the book. Mm -hmm. You start small. You start small. It will not be difficult questions. Yeah, like simple basic. questions, basic questions. And, and, okay. and the good part is that they will be coached okay. before that date. Before that date. On okay. what the questions will, will be, be, what the answers will be, everything okay. is in Igbo. So okay. they learn it one at a time. Okay. And before you know it, they, they have okay. a full grasp of uh, uh, certain things in Igbo. And I want to use this opportunity too and tell because my children do, do that they go to Google mm -hmm. and then anything they want to say in English they'll go to Google type it in right. and Google will give you the Igbo version of it and they try to sound it out yes. you can teach yourself Igbo for our children out there those of you in college oh my mommy didn't teach me my brother didn't teach me my dad didn't teach me you can teach yourself Igbo if you are interested mm -hmm. because you guys go to school and you do Spanish and you do French, you do all kinds of languages and you yes. excel at them. Yes. So if you're interested in learning Igbo, if you don't have a place to go, Google is your best teacher. Yes. Go to Google, type in whatever you need, download the app and you can teach yourself Igbo. Yes, let me say this because um, it's important that I reflect this. I mm. don't want it to be you mm. know, a, a bad reflection on the mm. group that did this thing in, in um, Los Angeles mm -hmm. is called Umada Di Boma. I cannot forget it. You can't forget they were, it. They, they are know, powerful women. Oh, they are. Oh, they are, they are powerful and, and women, guys. They are <laughs> very conscious of our culture. They are very conscious, very, and, uh, very conscious of know, our culture. And um, I was so impressed. And um, they are, they are, the president of that group is. Um, uh, Oputozu, that's her chief. That's Tansi. her chief Tansi. Yes. Oputozu, and, uh, Oputozu, when she yeah. comes out, it's finished. It's, it's, finished, <laughs> it's complete. You know? And they have, um, you know, powerful <laughs> members across the world. Yeah, and they have a lot of powerful, learned women. Yes. Educated women. They have branches. Yeah, they uh, have branches. In yes. Maryland, mm -hmm. they have uh, in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And I understand they are going to open branches in um, uh, London too. Wow, yes. that's so nice. So everybody is coming on board yeah. with this Igbo agenda. Because we want to preserve like, our culture. God's grace, yeah. we, are, we are moving We want to right preserve right. our culture because that's the one we have. Yes. And if we are not, you see, if you don't know the past, 
you can't you move can, forward. Absolutely. There is no future if there is there if you can't remember your past. Yes. So we have to carry all our past, all our culture, our mm -hmm. limitations, our shortcomings, yes. our good, our bad, our ugly. Very important. And then we move forward and that's the and, only way we can move and forward. And the other thing is uh, our children here in the diaspora are mm -hmm. very interested. They are very interested. Yeah, yes. And they are picking it up. Yeah. You know, they have a lot of enthusiasm yeah. in anything that is evil. Mm -hmm. Because I see it, I see the passion in them everywhere we do these events. It's so many of them that yeah. we come. Even yesterday, we were at Mbiri. Mm -hmm. Mbiri people did a convention at the Jazzy Hall. Right. And the young children, our children were there donating money. Very good. I was so impressed. Yeah. 300, 200, these children were there donating money. Mm -hmm. You see, that's why I always tell parents, we have to be careful because our children are products of their environment. Yes. When they see you carry culture, mm -hmm. all you talk about is culture, then your children want to know what this culture is about. about. But when you make it look like, oh, you don't need this culture, it right. will give you an accent, we don't need to know about, then your children won't know about it. Absolutely. Because they are products of their environment. Yeah. What they see is what they do. Mm -hmm. That is true. All right. Any other thing finally you want to tell the what? people out there, those of us listening to Dr. Renika, listening real good to what he's saying about the culture any final words of encouragement okay. anything you want to say for parents out there mm -hmm. looking okay. and saying oh i think i, I lost it somehow yes. i didn't teach my children this how do they make up what is your words of encouragement very good well you know i say this because i know some of us had that problem mm -hmm. uh, not teaching our children part of it is the economic circumstance that you were raising your children exactly. and for instance when we st we had our children mm -hmm. we were both going to college mm -hmm. and university just the struggling and, you know, economically you yes, were not there yes mm -hmm. but it is very very important that your children and my children understand Igbo language mm -hmm. and culture and their culture they, very they, important it's it's an easy thing to do in a way because now they're online the online courses everything everywhere. is online yes yeah. they learn the alphabet they learn the language out to small small mm. it's not, it doesn't mean tomorrow they're gonna speak they like us no <laughs> they, will, will, they, they will can take, understand they will understand mm -hmm. small by in, incremental mm -hmm. step mm -hmm. so don't think that um your children cannot learn Igbo language. They can. Mm -hmm. uh, as a matter of fact, you look at other tribes who are doing this and succeeding. There's no reason why those of us who are Igbos okay. are not going to succeed. Mm -hmm. So it, it's very important and um, mm -hmm. I want to make this point so that everybody can begin to you know, figure out if your children mm -hmm. are still young, this is a great time. A great, beautiful time yes. to start. Mm -hmm. Yes, if they are grown like some of us, mm -hmm. encourage them to, you know, as a matter of fact, even one of my sons was asking me, <laughs> how can I learn Igbo? I said, okay, That's good. you can go to the uh, website. I gave him some mm -hmm. websites website to where to, they can yeah. go there mm -hmm. and just start um, studying the alphabets mm -hmm. and the language mm -hmm. one, one at a time. Uh, so that's... Um, but it, it again is not, uh, there's no reason why anybody should be discouraged because mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. it can be done. It can be done. Uh, and, and many of us who are Igbos just think that, you know, Igbo language is a beautiful language. Yes, it is. And uh, we got this transmitted to us from our fathers and, and mothers. And it's also very important that we play our own part in order to preserve it. Yes. Okay. And Igbo, Igbo language and culture, uh, they all go together. So you cannot learn one without the other. And leave the other. And I have to add too <laughs> that in this festival, this Wai uh, Manari mm -hmm. we plan to do some uh, exhibition in Igbo language. Okay. We are going to recognize some of our brothers and sisters who have done well here okay. by trying to you know teach 
in, in, some people so it, or yeah. provide some infrastructure. It, yeah, some people, people are doing people it. To, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're going to recognize them and, and give them awards for, oh, that's good. for doing that. Mm -hmm. Now, we have come to the end of this, but before we leave, I would like Professor Oranika to say what he just said. Mm -hmm. the, the, those words of encouragement, to say it in Igbo to yes. all our Igbo people out there in the diaspora. <laughs> Ma obun if a see to a gaba na susibo ya na kanai. So na I we rapukuya on the katawa I na um a a a a a oibo niya. Mana ibido subiya iga a chopotana mo bele o bele ino kata iga a continue. Mana a suzi on the kate to ye to oibo. Yes. Mana o dimba. In Kusibu, I put my old number. No more kai na a swibu. Mona fan at na hamamu, it was your swibu. Hagge and memue, your eating you cheggy, nea, nanana, beacon, so bow more coonibo. Na no, no. If a man won a father, I got a mocana, nanana, and a swibu. You know, so so ibo. Thank you very much. Guys, you have it. We brought you Africa Business World today. That's the business we are featuring today. Professor Oranika has said it all. Please, 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 Igbo parents out there, speak this language to your children. It's going to be hard because sometimes they will tell you they don't understand, they don't want to be part of it, but keep speaking, they are listening. I promise you they are listening. Encourage them. Everything is on social media, everything is on the internet, everything is online. Encourage your children to go look for it, find it, seek it, and they will find it. Learn what they need to learn because our culture and our language, they are together. You can't take one without the other. And we need two of them for us to continue to be Igbos and be the people we are. Thank you very much. And I want to encourage you guys out there. If you have a business, you want to feature it on Unique Business, write us uniqueakudo at gmail.com. Until next time, remember... You are beautifully and wonderfully made by God. That is why you are unique. Goodbye.